So it's December 2012, here I am in France, I'm hitchhiking, I was hitchhiking until 2 in the morning last night. Um, there's a lot of snow if you can, as you can see, <sighs> sorry, oh, these are nice trees, look at it, very nice, all these things growing on it, there's another one, it's like ghost trees, yeah. France is real beautiful, it's uh, 25% of the country is forest. It's not like people think it's like the Eiffel Tower only and then, you know, uh, the beaches and warm. Oh, no, 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 it's real, it can be real cold. So, here we're sleeping rough. I'm on my way to hitchhike and see some other YouTubers. And, uh, yeah, so the motorway is just behind there. Let's just see that through the, there, there's the motorway and uh, you can hear the cars and uh, yeah, well, beautiful country and, well, we have to be rough, you know, if you want to be uh... it was a bit cold though oh, so is the inside I had a good sleep and uh The French people are really great. It's uh, one of the very few peoples in the world where the people is real solidary with the underdog. You know, the people, uh, they're real solidary. They will never call up the police. Even the police are nice, you know. I, I talked with them for about an hour yesterday. They are, um, and I managed to, uh, to interview a, uh, a French minister of uh, European affairs. It was by accident. Well, he was not the minister actually, but it was the, um, I thought it was, but it was the, uh, the senator of, uh, of El and the Alsatian senator of Strasbourg. And uh, so all these guys were standing there with the, t of the, the French TV and asking questions. So I squeezed myself between all these guys with my little YouTube camera and all these guys with the big cameras on the, on their shoulders so there I was standing and when I finished questioning him or asked interviewing uh, suddenly before I knew what I was saying I said excuse me Mr. Mr. Minister can I ask you another question in French so I asked him the question well what do you think is going to do about the Swiss problem and the tax evasion and all that so I'm gonna upload that as well yeah so here I was sleeping rough. I mean, YouTube is not only about like sitting behind your computer, but it is mostly about meeting people. I mean, one day they're gonna they're gonna close the rabbit hole, and we have to meet people. We have to know each other. You know, it's a great means. Thanks to the American First uh, First Amendment. Uh, American law by YouTube is bringing American law to Europe. Uh, well, in Switzerland, like there's no First Amendment, there's no liberty of speech, so there's only YouTube which brings that in Switzerland, and they're, they're fighting very hard against it. So um, this is one of the good things of the of America, the First Amendment. Well, it's great, it's fabulous, and so is YouTube. So I'm not only sitting in front of my screen, I'm sleeping rough. There's a lot of snow here, and it's bleeding cold. Okay, I'll finish up with this nice tree here. Look at that, nice. So this is my Bergen, uh, the big one, I think it's, you know, it carries 120 liters. I've got my arches of my tent here outside. I made this especially because I don't want to have this inside uh, with my dust bag, with my sleeping bag. I got the mattress outside because otherwise it gets all wet. The bags are in here, you got my water bottle and I've got the tent in here. That's magnificent with the Bergen, the British Army. It's the best backpack really. Now I got my tent in here. Otherwise my sleeping bag gets wet in the inside. So all these things you need to put on the outside. So, uh, I slept here 
and it's very important if you do hiking to get the snow away where you're sleeping with a with a shovel but I didn't want to take a shovel it's an extra kilo so <clears throat> with my hands and feet because even uh, through the ISO mattress the body warmth makes the uh, the snow melt and it, it all gets very very wet so take away most of it like this here right give you some information about do some hiking so you don't stay all day behind the screen right sipping coffee after coffee <sighs> yeah actually the uh, the ladies like in the middle of the night on the petrol stations they were real nice the the third last petrol station they they just came like you want to have a cup of coffee sir for free uh they're saying like i don't like injustice and where you're going to sleep like another three petrol station before that so well, you can sleep here no problem you go you can sleep here it's warm well that was really nice it was really heartwarming i mean that's france that's the french people they're real solidary and then they really got good hearts there might be some idiots around you know but even the idiots they'll leave you alone here um like if there if, if there is like a uh God's elected people. I think the French come as near as this can be. No other people does, you know, uh, to my opinion. So I say vive la France, vive la révolution. So it was not a good idea, you know, to sleep like inside, even if it's warm, because even if it's nice and, and you know, uh, you get waken up, woken up all the time by uh, just anybody walking past and there's light. So it's much better to be a bit cold and uh to have a good crash yeah okay that's what i just wanted to add so i say it again vive la france vive la révolution this is will hello so, how you did <laughs> will, <laughs> will is a new age traveler from england yeah <laughs> now we got stuck in the mud eh? uh quite severely stuck in the mud yeah this is home isn't it lovely yeah. a wood stove in it the dog. Stash. That's me, the tent. Nice farmhouse. <laughs> New age traveller from England. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Lovely, isn't it? The stove is made out of. Uh, Ford what? Transit. Ford Transit. The yeah. wheels of a Ford Transit. Three wheels. Yeah, three wheels <laughs> and a brake drum. Like paradise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, stuck in the mud in France. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thankfully, uh, like always, French people are amazing, and uh, French farmer is coming uh, with a tractor. I'm going to give him a horse brass. Yeah, Thank you. so have a look at the, uh, so this one is sunk in. Yeah, totally sunk in. Yeah, this one too. Yeah. It's a rear, it's rear uh, traction. Yeah. Uh, this one is even worse. You can hear the tractor coming. I just went and get the tractor and this is really... Really stuck. Really, really stuck, stuck in. Here. It's like uh, the first World War stuff here. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, shouldn't have trenches. Taken this turning. <laughs> we made four trenches here. So, here's the tractor coming. Is it there? <laughs> Listen up, can we can hear, hear it. More and more. It's the French resistance coming. Yeah. Or the assistance. <laughs> so, the, the corner, any here's now. Will's dog. Splash. A doggy doggy. Oh, There's the French resistance. Vive la France! Yeah. La 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 la
Yeah. Try the engine. Engine. developing on the screen and what might come out in three minutes. Yeah, it's like YouTube, like uploading, it's yeah. just another Uplo 60 <laughs> minutes for uploading or... Like you know. downloading a real life pizza, <laughs> <laughs> Will it happen? Is, is this America or...? The JPEG looks good. <laughs> <laughs> so this is France, yeah? Yeah. So France is pizza robot. Well, possibilities... Everything uh, else in France is shut, but the pizza robot is open. Yeah. That's the main thing. It looks like an oven, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. You never no, seen a right. thing like this before then? Never. No. never seen one you probably before. never want to see one again after you ate I've it. Seen a, I've seen a risotto <laughs> machine uh, in Italy. It was also sold beer, which was quite nice. <laughs> but uh, this is a first for me. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, Becca Trucks. Yeah. Pizza fête à l'ancienne. Old fashioned pizzas. So I made it to Brittany in France and met some real solidary people. And they just said after only five minutes and said well we give you the key or we, we open the door to the uh, to the mayor's office or his the, the garden here uh, where you can sleep so I'm, I don't know if you can see it all I'm here in a sort of middle-aged uh, this sort of a middle-aged thing here it's my backpack so I slept here so middle-aged walls here uh, it was real nice, real nice people. That's France. I I, I love France. Yeah, some very old stuff, old shoes. It's my tent. That's why I slept. Okay, that's great. That's what life is about. Solidarity. So in this little village, uh, what was it, Saint-Brie, Gogler, or something like that. Uh, the guy from this cafe here, he opened the door of the, uh, the mayor's office. In this w paranoid world, you know, of all security, this and that, you know. These guys just opened the door. So, and this is the, uh, this is the mayor's office. 
In Switzerland? Well, forget it. They only call up the police for nothing. I lie some shit together, you know. So, uh, the Swiss always get annoyed about just little things. And these people get happy about little things. Uh, that's the difference. If there are any lizards, they're in Switzerland. Cold-hearted, you know, and all that. So this is uh, December 2012 in Brittany, France. 8.30 in the morning. I've been here since last evening, 6 o'clock, but it was dark. Now let's see how it gets today. The sun is rising. I uh, hope it goes better. So I'm going to Saint-Malo, Mont-Saint-Michel, Omaha Beach. So this is Sword D-Day, Normandy landing. I just got here and uh, just put up my tent here. I don't know where to put it else. It's all beaches here. I don't want to put it in the sand, you know. There's a ship. Whoa. I left the uh, flying trader today, flying trader one. Probably flew back to England. Great guy. And uh, so this is Sword D Day landing. Yeah. You can hear the, uh, the sea. It was kind of cold this morning. There's the sea. Normandy. This is uh, Sword Beach. There's Omaha Beach probably somewhere there. So, it's very cold. Uh, a bit windy as well. It says June 6th. 6 6 at 6 o'clock in the morning, as flying traders told me. Told us. Oh. You're all this man, I'll, you know, just die for nothing. Yeah, special forces, four commando, French commandos. Uh, more commandos. Here it says, on, on 666, all these guys died of, uh, on, uh, 177 guys of four commandos. So they're special for forces. The SES came partly out of this here. And um, well, that's what I told you. These were the best, the most intelligent, the strongest, the most beautiful, most handsome man. And they have to die first. The other ones who work in the uh, military um, industrial complex, well, they can stay. They're nice. They are workers. They don't think, you know. So the enemy within, they want to uh, to raise a human race of uh, of slaves of um, uh, uh, the uh, sheeple, or we can also call them the sleeple. Yeah. No. Okay. Well, that was my sleep or tent. <laughs> so don't you trust all those generals and uh, politicians, because these generals, they say, well, you go and attack this and this, and you trust them. But they're all a bunch of Freemasons and Pharaohs and maybe something else as well. So here's your grave. Look, here's your grave. What's my tent was standing here? So here's your grave. Look, it looks like a grave. So don't you trust the generals. 
The enemy is not the other soldier in another uniform. I mean, look at it now. Now we're all friends together with the crowds. You know. The enemy is the enemy within. The generals, our own generals, our own politicians, the financial elite, the pharaohs, the Swiss. That's the enemy. Right? So I show you your grave again. Look, here's your grave. Well, go ahead. There's your grave. You don't even have to dig it, they do it for you. Look, I'm pulling up my finger. Look, they're all alone in the car. They don't, you know. And they must know that I am, um, I mean, is he stopping? Ah. <laughs> so it's almost getting night. I can just do this here. So here's this here. The June the 6th. And uh, this is a clock, it's very important, symbolic again. It's almost like a sort of an obelisk, see, not entirely, but we know they do sort of these sort of things. And it's pointing, you know, it's pointing at the six. This is a clock here. So it's pointing at the six. One, two, three, four, five. There it is, six. You see? And that means... The 666 or the the um, uh, D-Day was at the uh, June the 6th at 6 o'clock. So it's this what that means. The 6. It's pointing at the uh, the 6. Here's the clock. Yeah? Okay. And here we got the, I think it's a Centurion. The British Centurion tank. I'm almost sure. With the small cannon. And, uh, yeah, I think it's a Centurion. Oh, it says, maybe. There it is, I don't know. Uh, the bull, nice. Uh, they have, this is Switzerland. They have a Canton, a Canton de Schwitz machine gun. You're dead. And always, oh, they call it the Churchill tank, wasn't it? Yeah, the Churchill tank. The Centurion came afterwards. Oh, there it is. Isn't that all for killing each other? Yeah? Killing each other at 666. Okay. Oh. I suppose the position of the tank, you know, it has something together with the monument. They, I mean, they, they do things we have no idea. Yeah. So it's pointing at the six, right? Ay, ay, ay. So I'm not there yet. S still a way to go. So yeah, I'm standing there next to the, uh, the, you know, at the site where an enormous sacrifice has been taken place. Look, they, they have a lot of place. But don't you think they'll take me, yeah? It's getting dark. It's very cold. They've got loads of place. Look, it's, it's you know, they've got lots of places. You know, you know, they don't even smile, nothing, you know. And uh, so... The sacrifice, you know, the, the ultimate sacrifice has been done here. And they don't even take it, you know, with the car. Come on, yeah, look, look at them. Look. look at them. So why? Sacrifice yourself. Why? I mean, sad, isn't it? Very sad. I mean, if they look at me gear, they know perfectly well I'm going to Omaha Beach. Look at it. But I'm not from here. I mean. They don't even take hitchhiking. So why? This enormous sacrifice, you know? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, there are some good people who take me, otherwise I wouldn't be hitchhiking. But uh, I have to wait for like a couple of hundred cars. Uh, yeah, look, there's another one. Look at them. Uh, they got loads of place in the back. Look, oh, oh, oh. look at them. Oh. Hear how windy it is on uh, Omaha Beach. Uh, and I was sleeping out last night, and it's hard to film. It's wet. I'm sitting in a sort of bus stop. I don't know where it is. Yeah. 
trying to find the German cemetery. <clears throat> it's funny, the wind is going uh, too much to say. It's probably very cold in, uh, in the east, like in Alsace or Germany. So then the wind goes from, a, uh, from where it's cold to where it's warm. No, usually it's the other way around. Okay, oh. never mind. Ha, 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 ha.